All right, today we're going to go over exporting a mesh from a map um, along with its materials and textures and keeping all the references in the exported package, which is really uh, helpful when you go to bring it in to another map. Or in this case, we're going to re-import it to the same map. Um, here we are in Ogladow, just uh, demonstrating the lit and unlit modes there. We're going to find the maps package in the content browser. This is where we search right here for packages. Uh, the maps package is just the exact name of the map. Uh, then we're going to search up there in the content browser itself for hay, anything that has anything to do with hay. And right here we have everything in this maps package that has anything to do with the haystacks. There's actually two meshes, but they share materials and textures. Um, and what we're going to do is select them all. You can shift click or whoever you want. Uh, right click on any of them, and then we are going to move which is very important by moving them we're going to maintain all the references so we don't have any references to the other package from the new one and so forth so we've we've uh, uh, moved them all I renamed them just the generic uh, name what I called them here once they're all moved I need to now save the package I don't want to save the map because if I save the map, it's going to move all the references for the meshes in the map to this new package, which we don't necessarily want. Um, but we're going to save just this package. And just to kind of demonstrate that everything saved and uh, was correctly done, I'm just going to exit the SDK here. Don't save the map, of course. So the map is untouched. Everything with the map is the same. Okay, here we've loaded the map back up. Uh, I'm going to search for the package, which it's not showing up because the SDK didn't load the package because there was nothing in the map that referenced it. Um, so that's a common thing with the SDK and Unreal in, in general, I think. But So i got to go actually click on that folder and import the package, or load external packages, I think is what it's called, and then I'm going to bring it in. And now I search for the hay package, and as you can see, I'll click on one of the meshes. Looks fine in the preview there. And now, very important, the material, it references the material in this package, not the material that was in the maps package. So we have its own independent material. Uh, just to double check, we'll click on the material itself, the texture that's used also in this package, not the maps package. So we don't have any outside dependencies uh, in our references. So here I'm going to go in, this is just demonstrating how to swap out the uh, meshes. I'm going to click on one of the meshes I want to swap, right click on it, select all actors with this class, so I get all of these haystacks. And now what I want to do, you can see there's 113 or whatever that says, we're going to right click on them now. I've got the exported identical haystack selected in the content browser and I'm going to click uh, the replace and I'm going to replace them with the same exact thing and that concludes that part here I'll go over real quick to correct LOD group settings uh, for the overhead map texture so I'll, to find the overhead map texture quickly I'll just go to my world uh, settings world properties click overhead there it is right there it's the texture Click the magnifying glass to quickly find it in the content browser. There it is. It's 1024, so it's the right uh, aspect ratio, resolution. I'm going to edit it in the uh, texture viewer. And here you can see it's set incorrectly to uh, world, which is the default settings. I want it to be UI. Uh, with UI, it won't be compressed the same way, it'll be less blurry, it'll keep it sharp, and uh, then I can go ahead and save it, cook it, and the map should uh, appear much more clear.